How's it going everybody? I hope you're having a wonderful day. You have to excuse me, I am hot and sweaty. But I hope you're having a wonderful day. Today is about 92, 93 right now. And it's supposed to get up to about 95. The humidity's up there too. But I've been catching up on my, some of my car washing and whatnot. And while I was doing it, I got thinking about something. And I wanted to explain it to you. But as you can see, I've got the red one done. The black one is out there. It's done. And the Tahoe is all but done. I still have to vacuum it out and wipe down the door jams and stuff. But when I was doing the Tahoe, it got me thinking, and I'll explain that in just a second. Now, what was I just randomly thinking about? That's what I love about washing cars in general to begin with because it's kind of therapeutic no matter how bad your day is or anything you go out there and yes the first five ten minutes you might be thinking about it and you're like uh, why this why that here comes a breeze uh, it's like air conditioning when you're nice and sweaty <laughs> but uh after that first five ten minutes you start thinking about actually cleaning the car and then all of a sudden you're not really thinking about anything you're just doing and it actually is therapeutic but with that said today's video that brings us to today's video and that is spray on waxes or drying aids i'm not sure where, how i'm going to title it yet but it's basically dealing with both but let me back up for just a second whenever you touch your car it doesn't matter if you're leaning up against it with your pants while you're talking to somebody reaching over it you know doing something with a shirt on that's dangling and it rubs against it even your most uh, high quality fiber, fiber microfiber towels and microfiber wash mitts and stuff. Even those, just going over it can t uh, cause minor scratches, minor halos, minor swirl marks, and the like. And the way you get around it and the way manufacturers help you get around it, like with the wash mitts, right? The washes... The auto shampoos that you use have lubricity agents. Yeah, say that three times. Lubricity, lubricity, lubricity. <laughs> but what that does, it provides a, a coating on your wash mitt so that when, and it puts it in the water also. So as long as you're going over it with water and everything, it's helping give you a barrier between the paint and your wash mitt to keep from scratching it. Because if, you, if you've never seen microfiber or even fibers at all as far as car care products they're just a bunch of little fingers that stick out some of them well, under microscopic photos will look like little barbs off the ends of it and that's what grabs and catches the dirt and whisk it away whether it's a microfiber drying towel or just a microfiber towel when you're wiping your dash any of that stuff so that brings us back full circle to the drying egg when you're drying your car, all you have, and I'll take you around here to the top in a second and show you. All you have is water and your towel. Water has no lubricity. Water in general doesn't have any cleaning properties. It's just H2O. Two hydrogen and one oxygen atom. Yeah. So there's nothing there. So just using a drying towel and water, you can actually be causing a slight damage to your your clear coats on your car it can actually be causing those halos that you see you know you might not see it in the shade but whenever you get in a parking lot somewhere like at a car show or you're buying groceries and you walk back to your car and the sun's hitting it just right you look and you see all these little circles that look like the rainbow effect on it you know or, or it looks like spider web on the side of your car and that's what causes it so let's get back out to the car and I'll show you what I'm talking about okay throw this up here for just a second now my brand of choice is of course griot spray on wax but you can use whichever one you like they all basically have the same properties in it as you can see the car right now is dry and i'll wet it here in just a second but outside what this does is when you wax a car and you hit it with water what's the first thing you see you see the water being right that's just one of the properties. If you flip-flop it and think about it in reverse, if you have water on the car already, 
and spray this on, it will actually cause the water to run off. It acts as a drying agent. And if it's running off with the water as it goes from point A to point B, it's actually coating the whole area. So there's the theory behind lubricity in your paint on your car when you're drying it. Because if you have uh, this whole thing coated in water, you hit it with a spray wax, as you take your drying towel, and your drying towel gets wet with that product and that water, as you cut dry the remaining water, you're coating the whole car with a layer of protection. But more importantly, you're putting something that lubricates between your paint and your towel. And this is already wet. As you can see, I can wipe over and you can see the water on it. It's already wet, so I'm not really worried about it. I'm going to move it out of the way and I'm going to spray this down and show you exactly what I'm talking about. I don't want to do the whole car again, so I'm just going to spray it like that. As you can see, i got pretty good water beating already because I've already done this. I dried the whole Tahoe and put this on it, but as you can see, it puts a small layer of protection on there. Look at the beading and how it's running off. But if you look specifically at the water that is still on there, watch. Make sure I got this open. Don't. And spray. Watch what happens to this water when I hit it with it. See how it starts immediately wanting to run off? And all that's doing is going down other parts of the body. And it, it, it will mix in with the water and as that runs it'll coat. And then when you take the towel and dry it, you're not going to have to worry about scratching your paint. And you're putting a small layer of protection on there. You could do it that way, or the way I like to do it is I wipe one panel of my car and then I actually spray the towel a couple times. I can actually do one side of the car with just that. So let me dry this off and then we'll get to this wrap up this video. But there you go, as you can see, worked out fine. But there's several benefits to doing this. Number one, you're protecting your paint from scratches by providing a lubricity agent in with the water to dry your car. You're actually putting a small protective, protective layer of wax on your car as you dry because it mixes with the water as you've seen and it causes it to spread. And as you take your towel, work it over your whole panel you're just wiping it with basically a diluted wax so you're putting a small layer of protection on it so you don't have to worry about that it puts an extra little bit of shine on your car because you're waxing it while you do it there's just so many benefits to doing this but the main thing is you're not damaging your paint by doing it which is what this is all about if we can prevent damage to the paint we don't have to correct it right but with all that said, I'm going to get back to doing this. I still got to vacuum it and wipe down the door jams. And then I'll be done for the day. And I can go in and cool off. And I'll see you in the next video. You guys get out there and enjoy your car. Because I love doing this stuff. Till next one. Thank you for stopping by.